Nervous about this at all? Um, this has got to be the most fucking surreal, most surreal gig I think we've ever done. I just wish the captain was here. Yeah, we're not. Like, we're at Oxford University about to do um, a lecture uh, in the Great Hall. It's a mass debate, I've heard. It's a mass yeah. debate, yeah. <laughs> a proper mass debate. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get a hold for a second. I'll wait for everyone. Is everyone here? Is everyone here? All go? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first and, without doubt, the oddest speaker meeting of term. Dirty Sanchez is made up of three Welshmen, Pritchard, Dainton, Pancho, and an Englishman named Joyce, who are famous for making the sissies of jackass look like the Teletubbies. Um, Pritchard sadly cannot be here tonight, but the other three will be talking about how they met, grouped together, and became what we now know and love to be Dirty Sanchez. Uh, after they speak, there will be a chance for you to ask questions. So if you've ever wanted to know what it's like to have your penis nailed to a wooden board, uh, or what it's like to slam your head down in a row of pins, that will be your opportunity. Many thanks, and without further ado, Dirty Sanchez, ladies and gentlemen. Out of place. And in other words, it feels like the House of Commons, this, doesn't it? It's like the most surreal experience I think all three of us have ever come across. To be invited to Oxford University. Stand up, Hans. <laughs> oh, Dan, I already am. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, we didn't think it could get any more surreal when we got asked to do a Nike advert last year with Wayne Rooney and Gattuso and all those up. And our agent phones up and it, I think the email said, I've got no idea, this is the weirdest thing I've ever had, but Oxford U Union want you to do the, to, well, this is the, what swung it for me, to be honest with you. They said, here's your chance for a public mass debate. <laughs> 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 but um, here we are. I don't really know what you expect us to say, but um, I guess, you know, we are Dirty Sanchez. Well, I don't know, I'll pass it over to someone else. <laughs> want to say something? But you've got quite vocal there, Patch. Well, I'm telling you, know, it's, I know. there's something to be said, you know. Well, I'm Mike Pantelock from uh, South Wales, 29 years of age. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the short, uh, fat one out of the dirty Sanchez, <laughs> um, who likes to drink. <laughs> and uh, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know what to say, to be honest. Um, you know, it's an honour to be here, obviously, coming from uh, my background of absolutely zero GCSEs. Um, didn't really take much notice in school. Uh, daydreamed all the way through it, just because, uh, you know, uh, my, for, for my love of skateboarding, took me off my, uh, you know, my focus of learning, you know, English or maths or whatever. I, did, I haven't got a clue. Stringing this sentence together is hard right now, you know. So being, you know, being in the presence of you've, do, you've what done what this before, though, haven't you, Dane? I did kind of do something like this before. Yeah, I did it for special <laughs> children. Tell us what happened. <laughs> uh, no, Dane, no. Dane got invited to do a, a speech with these. Um, what they? How would you describe them? Underdeveloped children or children with special <laughs> needs? No, 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 no. <laughs> They were, these kids, I had to do a speech before for naughty children. <laughs> and basically the kids, they, they didn't learn that much. They, we shared the same kind of, you know. You were, you were on the same wave. On the same wave, <laughs> then. I just basically, you know, Dan's pointed out I've done this before. Really, it's on a much different intellectual scale. Um, I had to give awards out to these kids. And uh, I said, yeah, you know, I'll do that. I'm from the same, you know, uh, you know part of South Wales. And they wanted me there to like inspire kids on, just to show that like my background was as as theirs was, kind of like 
pretty dysfunctional, didn't really learn much at school. But, you know, you could achieve, you know, and go on in life without having to be the most intelligent, intellectual person. So, uh, yeah, so while I was on stage, I kind of thought, you know, can I swear? I'm not swearing. No, yeah, th yeah. This is what I'm going to say. A round of applause for Dayton for not swearing. <laughs> <laughs> You don't get this grade or that grade, you know, you can still go on and learn after school and find something you know really into. I mean, look at me. And I was like, fuck. You know. <laughs> I've nailed my nutsack to the, you know to fucking tables. <laughs> I you know, Dan's eaten another man, you know. Fuck, it. fuck school kids. Just com be a complete dick and go forward in life. And I just went, I'm fucking never doing this again. And here I am in Oxford University, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I suppose for those people that really don't know, you know, if it, is it, you know, any hands that don't know why, uh, who we are? Yeah! yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck, we're pretty famous. And these guys are the future as well. That's what I was say. <laughs> we're like, basically, you know, we've got the most fucked up idiots in the presence of what could be, you know, the heads of the, you know, the country in the future. It's pretty cool. I'd like you know? to know, are there any doctors out there? Or <laughs> aspiring doctors? Is there any piss heads there? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, well, obviously you know who we are. We're, we're known for uh, to blow out. Oh my God, look at that. I just noticed there's a massive cock above the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, after all, Oxford University does have a sense of humour. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, I do actually have one tattooed on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> This might not lead quite nicely onto the mother tattoo I got. Oh, I can't do that. Either. <laughs> 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 I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I have love and hate tattooed on my <laughs> Sanchez Pritchard, he's in, uh, he's in Vegas at the moment, but uh, he thought it was a good idea to get my name tatted on his dick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he can be you, but trust me, it's, it's the tattoo's for real. We should give him a ring, really, shouldn't we? Well, he could be travelling back home, <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah. Um... Oh, Einstein, tell him about, yeah, oh, yeah, we just... saw Einstein on your wall, and then we were really upset that Pritch wasn't here, because, um, what was it he said about Einstein? <laughs> Just want to try and give you a good in-depth, like you know, perception on how fucking stupid we are. No, oh, Pritchy. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, you know, I talk. Speak, you well, speak for speak yourself. All right, and Pritchard. Oh, Pritch. <laughs> right. So Pritchard, right? Pritchard's um, intellectual depth goes as far as this. When is when he was younger? Well, not even that much younger. Like you know, like twenty or something. He said to his mum, he said, "Like mum, how the fuck did Einstein's mother know?" to call him Einstein when he was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> see it? <laughs> so, so yeah, you, you've already got the joke for us. Got to, you, you fucking intellectual bastards. <laughs> yeah, he thought Einstein was a fucking name for a really intelligent man. <laughs> yeah. And what about the vultures as well? He went, oh, he said, oh, we saw these vultures. And he went, oh, vultures are called vultures because they're vultures. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> we, we have, when we travel, we do a lot of touring. I mean, outside of just like smashing ourselves up and, you know, bullying Pancho, apparently. Um, we, have, we, have, we have our own debates in the car, in the van or whatever, and Pritchard brings up the best, you know, like, questions like, the car, it's fucking mad, isn't it? We're driving along, right, on these rubber tyres, but there's fucking nothing in between those fucking tyres and the rims, it's just air. I mean, where is it? You can't see it, you can't touch it. 
but it's keeping the car afloat. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> great. <laughs> we were driving through Brisbane, Australia. Yeah. Brisbane. And uh, Pritch goes, we're all Pharisees from here. We went, oh, Brisbane. No, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, fucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, I know. We're, well, I can speak for myself. I've got the fucking sharpest tool in the box. We have a problem with swearing. Something is that left handed though, Dane? Trouble Le genius. Left handed, I'm a carpenter by trade. Like Jesus. Like Jesus. I've got something in common with Einstein, I, I can point out, because Einstein's got no GCSEs either, so yeah. <laughs> well, they've all invented then, that's why. Yeah, but that's my fucking kind of thing. <laughs> you know? And uh, yeah, um, I'm, a, I'm a father of two, bring my kids up and put them through a good education, as well as they could be. They don't watch our shit. And, uh, Dane, I saw the pictures on Facebook of your kid. You've dressed it up as fucking. <laughs> Alice Cooper with all the fucking the oh, yeah, on, come on. sticking her tongue out there. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, outside the Dirty Sanchez world, you know, there's things ticking inside and we do other things, but uh, if, if you want to, like, speak and then say some other things and then uh, well, after ask, you know, ask, ask away questions. You know what, well, I'm also a father too, believe it or not. It must, have been, it must have been rape. It must have been rape. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm also engaged to be married. You must have been asleep oh, yeah. for that. Did you, was it rape? What are you all about? Well, I mean, obviously you didn't, you wasn't awake for Well, it, I'm a good looking guy, Dave, don't get me wrong. You think women wanted, you know? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so Pamsha has got two kids. Yeah, my kids get, you know, they, they get brought up well. Uh, speaking of uh, bringing kids up, never been in Dublin Airport with Indy, Dayton's uh, youngest daughter. She fell asleep in her uh, pram and he puts a bottle of Jack Daniels in there and said, oh, this would be funny, let's take a photo of it with her. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was fucking you! It won't be, I thought you were saying that as well! <laughs> I had, a, I had a fucking up and I'm crossing around. I was fucking trying to get the, chat the devil's name. <laughs> so yeah, uh, guys, uh, we're Dirty Sanchez. Feel free to fire questions across and we'll try and answer them as best yeah, we as can. As honestly as possible. Yeah. Okay, so. Great, thank you. Um, well, I'll start things off. I was just going to ask how it really all happened. How you grouped together and decided to become Dirty Sanchez. We met in a gay club, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody ever been to the Blue Oyster Bar in Cardiff? <laughs> Yeah. It'll, take, it'll take you a long way <laughs> no, we're, we're <laughs> down the path. To so me, you know, like the, how we got together is quite simple. We're all skateboarders, and uh, at the time, Dan was known for his antics in the skateboarding world. I was like, on Vanessa. He was on, he, Dan was on Vanessa. I was on the old Vanessa show. I was actually um, voted Euro Lover 97. <laughs> and, um, there was all these girls on there who only went for Mediterranean lovers, and I was on there defending British guys going... You know, we're not all so... I can't get that cock out, man. His fascination with cocks is No, but it looked awful. like this thing. I ended up winning this gold pepper grinder that looked reminiscent of that. And it was, um, <laughs> what a cock. Yeah. And then there was this um, girl on there, and she, she ended up only... Like, she was only liked Mediterranean guys, and I ended up fucking her the night before, and I ended up getting the Euro Lover Award. <laughs> Wait, is that how we got together? No, but you, you said, oh, you're up for stuff, I'm having a laugh. Oh, right. It was after the Vanessa oh, show, right, yeah. and then... Yeah. Oh, I shit off a roof, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't, think that's, I don't think that's how we got... I don't think we got together because you shit off a roof, No, no, we? but we were at a skate park. He was making this skate video, and um, he saw me at this skate park and said, oh, do you want to part in this video? I said, um, what do you want me to do? He said, oh, we'll just do anything. I went... Fucking shit off a roof if you want. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we went. And this was like eight years ago. No one had done stuff like this back then. Well, I guess they had, but you just didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> In certain, so, oh, actually, pretty, you lot are probably quite into that, aren't you? <laughs> you know what those politicians go up to with the snooker balls in the mouth and all that? <laughs> anyway, sorry. We ended up going to find this, this massive roof and um, I shut off it and we didn't really know what it was going to be like. And I've been on the piss all weekend <laughs> and I was expecting just like a couple of logs just to drop down like that. But it was more like Niagara Falls, wasn't it? <laughs> it was fucking horrible. <laughs> it was all sorts of colours. But yeah, we're just raw skateboarders. Um, we made a video in 19... 99, uh, called Pritchard versus Dayton, and well, pro for the process of making it, for the skateboard industry, knowing that it could jump to the mainstream with the kind of humour we had, and the way it was going at that time, um, as, as the video was going through, it took a year to make, um, 
we picked Dan up, so like Dan, you've got to have a part because we know what you're up to, we, we know what you're known for. At the same time, Pancho wasn't really a part of it. <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't remember any of it, do you? Uh, to, to be honest, uh, it's quite funny actually, making a living from being asleep. You know? <laughs> Pancho was actually like, Pancho was, uh, well, yeah, I mean, all the footage we filmed that he didn't really know about until the premiere of the film, which we held in a cinema in Newport. Well, I think I had a few skateboard tricks. Yeah, you had like, a few after tricks. all, it was meant to be a skateboard video. <laughs> yeah, you had two, two tricks out of 45 fucking narcoleptic fits. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, we, um, we kind of amassed everybody together. It, the video went on and it kind of uh, got really, um, it could just build up a lot of, uh, uh, what's the word? Well, it created its hype, you know, with yeah. FHM and then, Channel 4 did a bit on us. Yeah, and then there was just this phone call off uh, MTV. And I thought it was Pritch winding me up. I'm like, yeah, um, you know, would you like to come down for a meeting? I'm like, fuck off, you're having a laugh. Bang, phone down. <laughs> <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Look, just fuck off. This is the biggest wind up under the sun. Give me your address. Give me, give, give me your address. Next day, train tickets arrive in the post and went down for a meeting. We thought we were only gonna have one meeting with them, so Pritz decided to get naked and run through the whole office. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, you was, basically, you, you was like, fuck this, we're never gonna be invited back here again after the interview. So I was like, oh, I'll fucking wait outside. You and Pritz ran around the MTV offices naked, and uh, we was like, yeah, see you later. But like the next day was a phone call and the rest was <laughs> history. So yeah, we're skateboarders, we, we kissed and we made love and here we are. Nice. Well, is there any questions for the boys here? Over there. Hi, um, I, I saw your film, um, enjoyed it quite a lot, found it very entertaining. Um, I think I'm quite an unshockable guy. There was only one thing that really got to me, because most of your stuff, you do to yourselves, but you'll heal afterwards. I think Pritchard said it best when he said, I love skin, it heals. Um, so I was just wondering, when did it seem like a good idea to cut Pritchard's little finger off? <laughs> I, I think you'd have to wait and ask Pritchard that, to be honest, because... No, 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 there's no, there's no good ideas in Pritchard, it's just, you know, he said, oh, but people done it before, you know, let's do it, let's see what happens. You could do it, don't they? It'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think to this day that he thought it was a good idea, I just think, you know, he wanted to see what would happen, because he's stupid. I mean, the man who asked, if Einstein, asked his mother why did Einstein get called Einstein as a kid, as a baby, would not know why he chopped his finger off. He actually wanted to, he wanted to chop it down through the bone and actually chop the end off. But we do actually have like a health and safety officer there and he said, well, <laughs> he, he said, to be honest with you, I don't think you're getting paid enough to take the end of your finger off, but if you want to do it, he said the healing time is very long. He said it will just make things a lot more complicated. But safely, you could take it down maybe about five uh, millimetres and that would be fine. Which, oh, I'll do that then. <laughs> and then this sick fuck at the tip of it. Oh, 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 oh. Exactly. Oh, it's a mini kebab. <laughs> yeah, well, I spat it out, realising, remembering that he hadn't had an AIDS test, and I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've since found out that the AIDS virus doesn't actually live that long outside in air, and it, I probably would have been right. <laughs> oh. Any more questions? No, that's what I'll tell you. No, why I know this, I had an AIDS test, right? And um, I was like, I, I've had quite a bit of unprotected sex. And um, you know, there's always that thing lurking in the back of your mind that, you know, what if I've got it? You know, there was that dodgy bird in Thailand I'm not really too sure about. And, you know, you think, you guys have got all that to look forward to. Um, and I went and had the AIDS test. And uh, the guy was like, oh, no, you'll be fine. He says, I've, had, I've been doing this for years, and people come through. I've only had about five people who've actually had it. And I went, what, so I'm all right? He went, unless you're doing them in the arse unprotected, you're fine. I went, oh, great, I can keep going then. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you a story about unprotected sex. It revolves around Pritchard. Oh, this is hilarious. He was in New York, and um, I'm sure, you, you know, we always tell the story on stage. Um, he was in New York and he, you know, we had a bit of a laugh with uh, quite a few people. Gangbang, it's called. And a gangbang, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <clears throat> he caught, he caught, what did he catch? The no, gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. He, he had green stuff coming out the yeah, end of his cock. He caught something that made his dick bust. 
So uh, the doctor said, like, look, if you ever have unprotected sex again, fucking for whatever reason, like, at least have a piss at the, after you've had sex. And he went, I was like, I said, well, because it kind of like flushes, you know, your penis through. Your shit. urethra, it's called. That's it, that's the thing, yeah. <laughs> Commonly known as the Japs eye, but you know, I'm <laughs> politically incorrect to say that. Not very PC, is it? <laughs> anyway, and uh, so yeah, that was it. He, he had uh, the old clear a few weeks later, antibiotics, and uh, yeah, um, he said I'm never doing that again. And then fucking two weeks later, he had unprotected sex. And I said, but you wrapped up yet? Oh no, no, I had a piss. It's all right. It's all yeah. Right. It's in all fact, right. there's another one about Pritch. Oh, no. He's just the one in sound. Yeah, he was shagging this oh, bird, right? And he come into my room, right? He went. Oh, Joyce, you got anything I can use as a Johnny? I went, no. He went, oh, there, looked in the fucking, looked in the bin, there was a Chris Packer. Ah! <laughs> he, he, went, he went, you got any elastic bands? <laughs> I went, no, I got a shoelace. He went, oh, that'll do. Wrapped a shoelace around a Chris Packer and fucked this girl. <laughs> <laughs> He did have a clink film as well. Yeah. <laughs> We're in a place called Sandwich and he, he pulled oh, the, this is horrible. He, he pulled oh, the, this large woman, but she was very, very nasty. And she de she demanded sex of him. But she demanded that the light would go off at the same time because she had a big boil on her cyst. cyst on her vagina. So, he, so that actually put him off a little, little yeah, bit. Oh, no, but he went, he went downstairs to the kitchen, got some cellophane, wrapped it around his old boy, turned the light off and went back on the job. <laughs> he, actually, he actually said, oh, he actually sir. said, when she said, he actually said, when she said, oh, look, you're going to have to turn the light off because I've got a sister on my fanny, he went, oh, fuck that, I don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good he's not here, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, anybody else got a question that doesn't revolve around that? Pritch's yeah, genitalia. Blondie at the back there. Have you been talking with the police much? Uh, uh, which, which country? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the, the people that uh, protect the I've got a DR10. What's that? Big Island. Oh, I wouldn't do it now. How long have you been with that? There you go. We actually went out for a, like a normal civilised night for this day. Oh, well, this is off at the cinema. I'll take the photos in the cinema once and I got Civilised Sanchez. Civilised Sanchez. Yeah. Got arrested for taking photos in the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? But. Fucking all the things that we've done. And I got arrested <laughs> for taking fucking photos in the cinema. <laughs> we went to Russia on uh, when we were filming the movie. And uh, it was the last day and we were filming in the Kremlin. Unaware that there was a G8 summit going on. <laughs> and it was just at that time where there was that thing about uh, the spies who had the cameras and the rock and stuff. And we were filming away from the Kremlin. We were dressed as officers, though. Weren't like we? former Russian military officers. With spy cameras. <laughs> yeah, it was like. Yeah, With spy cameras. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> With secret cameras, of course. Yeah. On G8 summit day outside the Kremlin. The, the president's guards came along and arrested us. Handed us over to the state police, and we were locked up for what was it like two, three hours? But we had a plane to catch to go to Thailand. It was fine because we had lots of money. No, <laughs> fuck. But um, we were wearing this former Russian military outfit, and I happened to have like the generals on, and the head, the head of the, the irony, eh? Yeah, the head. <laughs> well, I am the general. The, the, the head of the police force. He came out. And he started baffling off in Russian. And you know when something doesn't sound good. So I went to the fixer, Sergei, and said, what did he say? He said, does that little shit know what it takes to earn those stars and stripes? So I just went like fucking Batman. <laughs> That's gone. <laughs> but uh, eventually, we, like after, well, a few hundred US dollars, we got let out. And then it was on to Thailand. Yeah, well, we shagged ladyboys. <laughs> no, 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 no. We all had a ladyboy. No, I didn't, Dad. I think yours looked like a fucking dude. <laughs> Don't yours look like a dude? Mine felt like a dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, I, uh, bit, luckily know? I didn't go that far. 
I, d I did it, like, I did all the tests, right? I stuck my finger in the cranny and where the clit would be. Dan, did she, no, was she a copper or something? I don't know, but you know that bit where the clit is? And she started moaning, going, oh. I thought, it's got to be a woman. So I stuck my cock in, we did a bit of mission, and it was all right. And then um, I went, right, let's go doggy. So I flipped her around. <laughs> <laughs> and like that. And um, you know when you find the hole and you're trying to work where it is like that? And, and I suddenly thought, that feels a bit meaty around there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I suddenly went like that, and the, you could just see a shape of like a, I guess it's called the Biffin's Bridge. <laughs> and I went, it's all right, mate, I'll finish myself off. You get the snow over. There's your cab for that. <laughs> that's, that's time I don't want to done with. Any more questions? <laughs> I was just wondering, like, there's a big rivalry with Dayton and Pritchard on the screen, like in the shows and everything. I was just wondering, like, how much of that stuff goes on off camera? Like, if you fuck about with each other off camera, it goes like, on more off camera. It goes on every single fucking side. Like, my lamb is just shit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like, my lamb is just shit. Yeah, no, it's just true. It's you know, it's what sparked off the whole Sanchez thing. It's, it's there because it's you know, it's not much to do in the valleys, isn't it? You know, <laughs> uh, you know, so you've got to make your own entertainment. So yeah, it's it's definitely you know going on right now. So it's all good. Yeah. Well, Pant, Pant, you're quite pleased that he gives uh, Pritch all the shit because it gives, stops him giving you any shit. Well, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, excuse my French, Pritch Allen is the biggest fuckhead. <laughs> 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 you know, and unfortunately, due to my comatoism after a consumption of beers, he tends to take advantage of that. <laughs> Big time. And you're doing something for bullying next week in uh, South Wales. I am actually doing an anti-bullying campaign for the whole of West Wales. Are Oregon, you? Yes. You could be the face of anti-bullying for the world. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where I had that contact to. Do you know, Pritchard actually did a um, boss subject. It's related back to sex, and it will be pretty quick. <laughs> After he had all the diseases, he did. He was the face of the sex, sex safe, safe sex campaign for, uh, for South Wales and Australia. He was on billboards all over South Wales. But he went and another dick talk to the He was on all the billboards all over South Wales, Australia. And whilst he was the face of the sex safe, uh, six, kind of safe, sex. safe sex campaign, he had to go to the clap clinic and tell them that he'd had a lick of disease. And when he went in, his face was on the fucking door. The court was <laughs> <in his face. laughs> Yeah. Well, what's that got to do with her? Uh, yeah. New question? Would anybody like to, any women like to sleep with Prince? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd see more men's hands. <laughs> I saw one there. Sorry. Yes, sorry. Yeah. Have you ever been whacked? Yeah. Well, basically, I think, like, life's too short, you know? And You're like, too short? You like you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think, like, you know, life's too short, big or small, fuck them all, Jesus made you naked, get on with it, have a laugh, and enjoy each day for each day. I think it's kind of like a contradiction, because I think the show... You get quite embarrassed, I think, think you don't. Well, I think the whole fucking show hinges on people's insecurities and, uh, and, and all that kind of shit, that's what makes it fucking funny. I mean, it's easy to staple something to the table, like your balls or something, but it's when you get inside, <laughs> when you get inside and you start fucking with people, embarrass them and, and get them in those awkward situations, I think, I think that's like the true comedy of it. It's funny, when we did the first series, we didn't realise Dayton was so fucked up until he started telling us about all his obsessional compulsive disorders. That's not embarrassing, though, Yeah, but it? you'd never have mentioned it unless there was a camera there. Well, you know anything for a bit of fame, eh? <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, the, uh, that's a good point. Um, making people embarrassed and humiliating them in our own little world is kind of what we all do to people and our own mates. It's just a bit of a laugh, isn't it? You know, it's nothing too nasty. Is it Pancho? You ever once you've done something? Yeah, well, Dave, put it this way. This is a one-way shoot. You know, if it ever went that way, then there would be absolute riots. What do you want about, right? What do you want about? I'm just the one who said, like, he said, I don't care what you do, as long as you leave my eyebrows alone and don't get some guy to bum me while I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's the rule. Wait, but I think that fucking, that's, you know, for me, you know, I'm not a homophobic, but that's the, 
just doesn't fill my balls. You're not homophobic. You, you wake me up when you've been asleep. You not <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I was completely unaware. <laughs> Yeah, but you'll be completely unaware when we get this gay guy to come in and bum you as well. No, Dan, that wouldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, right? We were on this bu- on this train. That, it was called the um, the party train that goes to the Alps down in France. And um, this when we did the first series, we got so drunk, he fell asleep. But we went into into his cabin, right? And we got all these safety pins and we put them through his ball bag and then put his pants back on. And you didn't even have any clue about it. <laughs> but at least I can get an ad on. <laughs> oh, how I've, how I've managed to have two le- beautiful daughters is just beyond me. Exactly, beyond me too. <laughs> uh, any more questions? We just have one there. Daniel? Sorry, just this. Um, is there anything which has been like, suggested for you to do and you've just been like, no, fuck you? Bum another man. <laughs> <laughs> now, electricity, none of us like it. Oh, I do it. I, I've done a bit. <laughs> Teaser guns. Oh, you have to have one in electricity. Yeah. So, you know, like, to be honest, man, there's loads of things you've turned out. Like, you know, this. We're not fucking. You know, we're, we're not ro- robots. So the thing is. Well, I know. The first series, we did actually everything, didn't we? And we realised that some things just look shit on camera. And, like, when we did the first series, it took like six months to film it. And when we did the film, it took six weeks. So we kind of whittled down what looks good on camera and what doesn't. Well, um, there's like certain stents that suit, you know, suit certain people, you know? Yeah. Well, there's certain things we try to stop Trench from doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be dead. Oh, his dream, Pritch's dream is to um, <laughs> be in a helicopter attached to a, like a cord and to be swung into a brick roll, wall. And that's, <laughs> that's all he's ever wanted to do. So, we I go, just just smash into a bundle of hay, and he's like, "No, that's not rock and roll enough." <laughs> but you know, let's just give it from the man, right? Well, I've run over twice, uh, once on a step ladder, once just for real, and you, you, you won't, you can't spit on him. You can't spit on him; he doesn't like spiders. You can fucking run him over though. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, what now? <laughs> yeah. Has there ever been uh, any danger of you guys splitting up as a four? We can't really split up, maybe not really, uh, any, anything really. Anyway. But like, but, um, uh, like not doing the show together anymore, you've got the rivalry and things like that. Has there ever, uh, ever got to like so tense? You thought you could continue like making progress? Well, what? <laughs> There are a few J Lords in the group. I think Mariah Carey's out there. You know, you can't, whatever happens, happens, you know, you can't like just, we don't really like predict and say we're going to do this, we're going to do that. It just kind of, it just happens. People say we want to do some more work with you and whatever, and it just, it just comes from there really. It's not like something we premeditate and go out and go, yeah, we're going to fucking do this and we're going to do that. It just kind of happens, and if people still want to, want to see it, you know, and they've got, uh, you know, the right price tag on the end of it. Because <laughs> life is a business. Joke. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's, 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 we, didn't, we didn't expect to be going along this long, so. Yeah, we didn't even expect to get out of the MTV building and, you know, alive. You know, let alone a first series, second series, third series movie. And to be in Blinken Oxford University. So this speak, is probably the highlight of our career, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That <laughs> probably your lowest point. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? Just there, the guy in the white shirt. Do you like jackets? Yeah. Yeah. I've met him a few times with our but, you know. <laughs> <coughs> no, but I honestly think, you know, because 
like they they got it out there on TV, you know, back first, you know, even the, because like they're like a similar bunch of people, skateboarders. You know, if it weren't for them who actually got it out there first, then we would have the interest of MTV, MTV UK. So. Well, no, I mean, like when you got that kind of humour being brought in for the first time. I mean, if we if if we went and said this is what we've got, it would have been just too much to the way. So it was kind of like, it just kind of let it eased it in a bit, I suppose. And it was like a bit of a stepping stone for us to come in. And even though you know people say, oh, you know, is there a rivalry? They were there. We were there before MTV were there. You know, it's just always been there. It's a skateboarders kind of mentality, yeah, I suppose, yeah. to fuck around. But if you actually look at it, the two shows are completely different things. They're, I think we take it a little bit further, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, and it's the old, uh, you know, camaraderie between us lot. And They're American at the end of the day, aren't they? <laughs> Any Americans Sorry, out there? Probably those in there. <laughs> Different, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you say potato. <laughs> <laughs> we I stick it up our ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, if you were upstairs earlier, you would have seen Panto had a little bit of a... He's been hanging out in the snooker room earlier. <laughs> yeah, we thought we'd bring back one of the old classics. Uh, there, there is a certain member of the society, I'm not going to mention his name, but he did fire the... He did pot the brown ball. Back. He yeah. potted the brown ball he right into my head. He said, if I can't head. pot the pink, I'll pot the brown. <laughs> 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 I said, Dan, I've had enough of pink, I'm going to have some brown. <laughs> He's been known to get naked a few times, though, hasn't he? Oh. Punch. Punch has. <laughs> what do you want about? It was a simple game of snooker. To revive... <laughs> snooker! <laughs> snooker! <laughs> Any more questions? Sorry, yeah. Uh, for me, it was uh, getting like what section done in a back alley in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it was having to drink the fat. <laughs> but I did have an AIDS test and hepatitis. You know, I did add all the tests to. Well, to make sure that you didn't catch it off the in back street uh, like what section. Dave, have actually had one since. Uh, why? Dave Jones. Dave Jones. <laughs> uh, look, a uh, couple of dodgy nights. <laughs> Fucking hell! Look, you I can't go down this route. I'm not going down what, any the route. You brought the AIDS up. Yeah, it's but I'm, I'm easy just to saying. Use this, this, these days in this country, well, HIV anyway. They've got all the medication for it, you're fine. If you live in Africa, <laughs> then. <laughs> it's, not a it's okay, <laughs> fuck the condom. As long as you've got enough money. <laughs> That's what it's like these days, isn't it? Right, will you carry on like that then? Well, you have. Oh, I haven't You've been sticking in bloody <laughs> prostitutes without protection. I have. I've never fucked a prostitute. Dave Jones. <laughs> Look, Dan, what are you all about? I thought you never got embarrassed. Life's too short. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Next question. I hate the internet. <laughs> yeah. What's your mother say? <laughs> My mum said to me, if if I was in your position at your age, I'd be doing exactly the same thing. <laughs> Can I mention something about Dan's mother? We've all snogged her. And she was great. <laughs> but we all want to snog Dayton's mother. Because she is hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. For the right price? Hey, man, you know, it's up to you. What do your mums think? My mum's. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the one of them thinks I'm a dick. Nah, you know, same old, you know. She just uh, wants me to get out the gutter. Anything, Lee. I could have been an astronaut. Anyway, yeah, no, nah, she, she just, you know, I don't know. I don't know what she thinks. She, made, your she made me like this. My, my mother basically just says, look, just be teacher, safe. Though, just be safe. I'm never going to watch it. We took her along to the premiere, and she was like this. It's like watching, you know, like, Sanchez has been like, you know, a, a severe bad car crash. You know, you never really want to watch, but, you, you know. It's like rubbernecking. You, you, you have a little look, look, didn't you? Yeah, you have a little peek, yeah. And, uh, 
I wouldn't say she was exactly proud. But, uh, <laughs> but, like, but, oh, but at least I'm not jabless. It's like um, gay sex, isn't it? You don't want to have a look, but you know you're going to have a look. Why are you always bringing that? <laughs> <laughs> We've all watched Brokeback Mountain, haven't we? I've. To the work done, I haven't. I I've... watched it dressed as a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. I'm never sharing a room with Dan ever again. I yeah. can't answer that one. <laughs> Next. That's where it started. We all used to dish him out to people. All the time. Uh, you <laughs> dished him out. <laughs> I remember being in this like swankish bar in Shoreditch, and uh, there was an editor from Dazed and Confused magazine. I didn't really want to bring it up, you know, she, but she was quite like in a high polite. You know, she was uh, stuck up her own arse. Yeah, very stuck up her own arse. So Joyce just went, "Oh, faster you think of it, great," and it was like. Damn, we better leave. She licked her lips and said more. But you Daisy Confused magazine, they're trying to be all arty farty and yeah, we're real <coughs> fucking out there. But at the end of the day, she didn't like the smell of shit on her lips. <laughs> <laughs> you any further question? <laughs> any questions? Any questions? more questions? Anyone in the balcony? Yeah, anyone up at the top there? Some guy over there. Do you know where five was? Yeah, it's just, you know, as simple as that. I mean, you tell somebody, like, you know, you could possibly be in a Guinness Book of Records if you, if you take this amount of paintballs to the body, you put a plan in, and yeah, he has a go for it. And obviously, he looks like a dick at the end of it, and he's covered in bruises. But yeah, the, the, the plan was to tell him straight away, wasn't it? And well, we, yeah. We couldn't, but that ended up going on and on and on, by which time he'd already got his cock tattooed with I Love Dating down it, so it ended up escalating into something more than it was meant to be. But yeah, we do plan certain, like, it's not like, well, when I say we plan stunts, it's not like we all know about it. It's like, I might go away and instigate something, and it happens like that. I mean, sometimes you could be here now, and something would just come off the back of spontaneity, but otherwise, you know, it's, it's a bit of everything, really. Right, any further questions? Well, I've got one of my own. What would you say for you has been the worst thing you have ever done, the most uh, unpleasant? Probably something really simple, like, um, oh, it's, I don't know, stinging nettles. Something as simple yeah, as yeah, stinging nettles. Stinging nettles. Because, like, just if you roll in them <coughs> for long enough naked um, and get cut, you know, uh, and, you know, just totally all over your whole body, then you, your body kind of goes into, like, um, anaphylactic shock, which like is something I, I never knew about. <laughs> and yeah. I, I naively was rolling around, wrestling, whapping them on your cock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, eating them. Under your armpits. But then it was like, I got back home and it was like, right, let's go and have a pint. You know, and, you know that's a chill out. You try and have a pint and your lips just going, Ugh. get back on the internet, you're thinking, fuck, what can you do this? I'm like, uh, vinegar. Someone told me. Barfing in your own piss. <laughs> vinegar, calamine lotion, and it's still 14 hours of fucking agony. And that was something I would never do again. Well, some of the director said, look, we got, we got loads of, like, like, fucking big tubs of vinegar. So they filled the bar full of vinegar, and I dived it, and I had piles at the time. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking quite Everybody cool. wanted to know about that, I think. <laughs> well, you know, speak the truth. These lot are young, they don't get piles yet. You've got all that to look forward to. Yeah, unless you go to Russia <laughs> in the what? winter. Why don't you get piles in Russia? Well, coal brings on piles. Robert yeah. Miles. Is, it, is, that, is, that, is that the truth, though? Does piles really bring on... Uh, does, does the coal bring on piles? I think there is a certain amount of truth in that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with playing with the backside a bit much. Right, Why are you bringing up all these gay questions? Well, that's not gay, is it? It's just, you know... Just having a scratch for too long when you're down there. Oh, here we go. I'm going to let you ladies into a little secret that men will never, ever tell you. This is probably the best thing you'll ever learn, right? And I'm speaking for every single man in the whole world, right? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Right? We'll be sat there, right, and say he's there with his girlfriend, and you're watching the TV, and... 
and he's got it down to a fine art. You have a little bit of a scratch. And then you can't not, but. <laughs> <laughs> But the thing is, right, the, the girl will never know it. So what, the guys have become quite sly about it. So they go, oh, can you um, pass us the thing over there? <laughs> and every night in bed, when you hear that little... And you go, are you having a wake, love? No, no, I'm just having a little bit of a scratch. And then they always turn their head on the pillow and... <laughs> and there's something really comforting about it, but every single guy does it. <laughs> Guys, guys out there agree. They're not going <laughs> to. <laughs> so, yeah. Have you ever done any stunts on any celebrities and stuff like me on tour or just randomness in the street going like that? Well, basically, for uh, like insurance reasons, you know. Like Sanchez is all about us just. Off just. <laughs> Fun? Yeah, Pritch fucked up. What's his name, didn't he? Mark Williams, a snooker player. World champion. World champion snooker player. He was playing in some, in the Crucible competition or something Absolutely. at the time, and he went out on the piss with him, and um, he fell asleep. So Pritch shaved off, was it his eyebrow? Or his hair. No, I shaved lumps over his head. And the next day, the next day on the snooker championship, he came on with a completely bald head, and the commentator said, what's happened to Mark Williams' his hair? And the other one went, I heard he was out drinking with the guys from Dirty Sanchez last night. He also, he also got Mark Williams' his phone and went on it and texted Steve Davis and said, you ginger cunt. <laughs> Ginger bowling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi, thanks. Hi. I've been quite honoured to meet you, and I've learned a lot about safe sex already. <laughs> <laughs> um, a couple of questions. Um, one is, um, I'm 57, and I'm hoping you can reassure me that your fan base includes 50-year-olds. Otherwise, that means I'm juvenile or childish or something. I've, I've actually met three generations of family, right? The grandfather, the father, and the son. And they're like, the, uh, the grandfather came on to me, but. He came but on did to you? you. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Sex <laughs> As is an introduction. Oh, right. Yes, yeah, Stan. And um, he actually went, oh, me and my boys fucking love that show. After our Sunday dinners, we all sit down and have a Sanchez afternoon, and I thought, fucking hell, that's great. Do nice. What do they do? Do stunts on each other? Well, no, well, Dan, you're probably thinking they're all like having a group wank or something like that. You? <laughs> I think no, they just sit down and watch it, you know, and they appreciate it, you know? Well, they appreciate it. Pardon? <laughs> no, it's quite cool. You get, you'd be surprised, like, um, you know, like, you know, for like, from like a certain age up to like, you know, your age. I, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't think you can uh, particularly categorise. You know, like, you know, the age group of a Sanchez fan. You know, it seems to stem from, like, I've been to a few like you know, social clubs and stuff. You get like older guys that are like, oh, wicked work, you know. Well, I certainly keep up the good work. I certainly didn't expect anyone at Oxford University would find us amusing. I thought they'd find it <laughs> Me immature either. and. Stupid. It is, isn't it? Yeah, but I didn't think they'd <laughs> find it funny. But there you go, that's just my narrow mindedness. Sorry, did you want to finish the question? I've got loads of questions, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've kind of noticed that when you, I mean, you do use an awful lot of bad language, there's no doubt about it, but when you, when three Welsh guys say all oh, this really foul language, it actually sounds more acceptable, less unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> do you have thought that? It doesn't sound too bad with a Welsh accent. I, 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 I actually think that about the Irish people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when they go, fuck, for fuck's sake. You know, I, I, I honestly don't find that offending. I think like, I don't find anything offensive to one of you. No, <laughs> I mean, no shit, Sherlock. It's just, it's like someone said to me the other day, he said, oh, it's really fucking bad weather today, and here I went, Depends who you are. I mean, well, what do you mean? Well, if you're a plant, this is very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all in relation to whatever. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I, I think Dick would like to thank you for saying that the, I Welsh, would. That the Welsh fuck is not offensive. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. stringing the sense against hard without getting that little insecure fuck. No, but I honestly, I honestly, do you, do you feel that with Irish people? Like when they say fuck, you know, I just can't like understand you. what they're saying half the time. To be, <laughs> to be honest, it's just, you know, I only pick up, pick it, pick up people's swearing when it's said in a certain tone. If someone's just fucking swearing and talking around like, like saying like, well, fuck me, we did this today, then it's fine. But if someone said it in, a well, different, not... if someone said it in a different tone, then you pick up on it. Because it can like, be well, endearing, I... can't it? Like, well, oh, he's, he's a bit of a cunt. He's all right. Yes, yeah. he's, he's a cunt. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, that is one I'd, word I'd you much... can't use on TV. No, I'd, I'd much rather be a cunt than a prick. Oh, he's a prick. <laughs> But, oh, he's a bit of a cunt. He's all right. He's a bit of a cunt. <laughs> it's kind of. It's not so bad. No, but then again, I could say, "Oh, you're such a fanny." I wouldn't like to be a fanny now. <laughs> <laughs> but in America, that's just a bum. <laughs> I wear it to minge. <laughs> <laughs> or gash. <laughs> Have you found an American? Yeah, this woman's American. <laughs> Do we have any more questions? Yes, up there. Um, this is Chris here. Would you rather have sex with a dirty fat girl and call her gonorrhea or six hundred main balls for the dead body? This is a very good question. <laughs> What then? would you rather, right? <laughs> right, a million little balls or one massive one? <laughs> I, I'd, I'd like the, the massive one, yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. Big and tender. Oh, 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 get rid of two pills overnight, bang. <laughs> Oh, would you rather do? Would your dad wank you or you wank what, you? Yeah, what would, no, I, no, I wasn't going to ask him that. Yeah, you, I, I wasn't going to do that. I was never going to stoot that. Like. He was, he was. I wasn't. No, don't go to that. Ask yeah. him, just ask him quickly. I'm, I'm not interested. <laughs> Dan said to me then, to, he said, what would you rather do? Your dad wank you. Wank your dad off or your dad wank, wank you, you off? <laughs> Shag your dad or shag your mum? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've already answered those sort of questions. But I think the problem is with paedophilia, it's not talked about. It's brushing under the carpet, isn't it? So if there is someone who has been affected by it, they've never been given the opportunity to go, I was touched by my dad. So it's like, it's frowned upon. And then that problem becomes even more ingrained problem and that's why you have people talking to themselves. So they go, oh yeah, my dad wanked me up. Oh, me too, yeah, really bad. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Talk about it, yeah. It's just easier to deal with if it's talked about. Anyway. Have you been be touched up, isn't it? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I've met a lot of people who have. I've met a lot of people who have. Hatcher's yeah. a quiet boy, have you? I was a quiet boy, yeah, but I stayed well away from the priest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, enough of Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed moments. Any more questions? Yep. Another question? Yeah. You said you don't want children to watch yet. Were you ever? Of course, yeah. I mean, they can... When, they, when they're young and stuff and they're growing, like, you just don't really want them to go to McDonald's and watch Dirty Sanchez, do you? I think that's the problem with this country. I, th I, th think, I think that's what they do. I think maybe one day they'll see a finely edited version where daddy's like, 
But it's quite weird that the ASBO was only invented in the, about the same time that our show came out and the, the amount of time that all these additives were being put in food and fuck that. It's a bit of a... I, th I, I don't know, I'm Wait, not, a, fucking, you, you I'm not a nutritionist or a fucking socialist, social whatever they call it. <laughs> <laughs> but I reckon there might be some sort of... And well, with the mean, internet and lack of morals and people not knowing about... People don't have a... I think, you, I think you've today. had too many E numbers in your fucking I'd time. I certainly have, have yeah. <laughs> I'd, I've knocked them on the edge. I grew up eating sweets. I'm not a fucking... Fucking social fucking swear word. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but, but the, you, the you, I think manners. You, you are the... He, Pancho is the most polite, um, well-mannered person I know, when you're sober. And I was never taught any manners, and I always look yeah, at you. You always address people. You look at them in the eye and shake their hand, and I always think, I wish I was taught manners, because it does mean a lot. Manners maketh man, Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you haven't got children. Yeah, no, I wish I had learned manners when I was a kid. Well, they're very important. Uh, these kids come now, these, these Asbo kids, they're not just Asbo kids, they're just, it's just litter, the streets are litter of them. They've just got no respect. And like, if their parents can't, you know, teach them respect, then, because their parents are fucked up. And they're just fucked up. Yeah, so just well, get a big don't... fucking flame from burn the bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, question to you lot, though. There's a shortage of fruit pickers in the UK this summer. <laughs> <laughs> because all the poolers have got good jobs. Do you reckon all these kids with, like, really bad asbos or crasbos as well? What's a crasbo? Oh, it's a... It's a a crackhead's ass bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon you should get him one of those fruit picking fields. Well, it's still fine. What's that going to do? Well, it's gonna... make us have shit of fruit, fruit with crack in it. <laughs> 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 well, oh, Brucey well, bonus. Fucking hell. I, to I told you to just burn the bastards. Yeah, Sorry. that's a bit harsh. Oh, I do believe Hitler had the same opinion. <laughs> <laughs> well... Do we have one last question? From anyone? Good, because I really need a pin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> In that case, thank you so much, Dirty Sanchez. No thank you. Thank you. to the bar right now, so if you want to meet the guys, we'll be having some drinks, so come find us. Let's have this one. Can you just take my phone? <laughs> <laughs> but.